Joey Diaz mentioned on his show um, a little snippet, a little news nugget concerning uh, Joe Rogan's eventual move to LA that has me thinking. Um, in, that, that it's an interesting development. That's, let, let's just say that because you know we don't really have any information about what he's going to do there. We just you know we just get the assumption that he probably wants a bit more freedom, um, lower rate of tax, and maybe the ability to do stand up comedy again once everything sort of like settles down and the economy reopens but this little development made me think that we he might be actually opening a comedy club in general so this is from joey diaz and he sort of mentions the offer joe rogan made to him prior to him deciding that he wants to go back to new jersey it's around here boom 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 let's put um I'll mute that and then play. Fucking night of, of the seven fishes and all that shit. And we're over here eating the shittiest fucking pizza. <laughs> you know, we're over here eating shit. And listen, I was invited to move to Ro with Rogan. Joe is a fucking sweetheart. Uh, he made me an offer I couldn't refuse, to be honest. With you. If you know Joe, he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. But I didn't. Listen, I've been gone from my area since 1993 so it seems like joe's offering his friends or like within his little circle podcasting circle la comedy store circle the opportunity to go to texas with him now is he offering it as a way just to get his friends to live closer to him or is he offering is he trying to suggesting it hey you should come to texas with me I've got this great opportunity or is it more so for him to um build this compound that he's been spoke he's speaking about it for years if you're a long time listener of joe rogan experience you'd know that he's been talking about you know having his own compound for time it's been one of his dreams and i guess maybe with you know allegedly having 100 m's sitting in your bank account from spotify it probably allows him a little bit more flexibility to do it right because you can do it you know on somebody else's dime you know but that kind of dipping into his own money that he makes on the podcast is a probably you know a great thing to do and if you've read or if you listen to any of the stories concerning joe on the podcast you know that he's extremely generous right he's helped out numerous people behind the scenes you know um to get right get them on their feet you know he's always very generous it feels like with the steak dinners when these guys are going on tour and stuff so it wouldn't be um out of character for him to decide to be like hey i will pay for you to come and live with me in texas i'll pay your rent for the year or whatever it may be or you can have this place for half the price whatever i'm not surprised he's doing it but it's really amazing that he's attempted to do such a thing and it made me think if as well the other potential is that he might be opening his own comedy store or his own comedy club sorry um i'm not too sure what the big comedy clubs are in texas don't um try and quiz me on that i'm not that familiar with that scene down there um i just listen to these guys podcast for the most part but i would be interested to see how what he does because that's one that's been one of my only criticisms i feel like with a lot of these guys and similar with the djs too if i feel like a lot of these guys i listen to not the bigger ones because they they're, they're fine but a lot of the guys are coming up or in the middle tier they always complain about the spot they always complain about not getting showcased they always complain about not getting passed in certain places and a lot of them you know probably have the means especially with you know patreons and google adsense money they're making on youtube and selling of merch you no know, not watching anyone's pockets but i'm pretty sure they could probably all chip in a couple of grand here and there to buy a place where they can just perform you know week in week out similar to maybe what chris no, similar to what um what's his name dave Chappelle's doing at the moment right with um uh the thing he's doing is it in ohio i think he's doing it in wherever he's from right he's basically got a field where he sets up shop and has you know different comedic friends and hip-hop artists come down and play and perform in front of a crowd that's you know socially distance all that malarkey it feels like a lot of those guys should be doing the same sort of thing right instead of complaining like let's make something happen right let's try and fix it let's try and uh, come with a solution um let's buy an old comedy store and revamp it or let's invest in one and help out with the booking and the events manager i don't know something along those lines so it feels like we have finally have one of them putting their money where their mouth is and saying hey this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go open up a spot and invite all my friends who happen to be killers who happen to sell tickets because you know there's not gonna be it's not gonna, there's not gonna be a chance this place is gonna be full it's gonna be probably the hottest club in america when it does launch in it especially if it's got joe Rogan's name attached to it but i'm curious to know i'm curious to see actually whether or not he will attach his name to it as like an owner or whether or not he'll just be somebody that will kind of um you know be somebody might front it as sort of like an investor or a family member but he actually owns the whole thing because i'd imagine running a comedy club 
will be it's not the easiest thing dealing with those egos dealing with those personalities it's not it's not a job that you'd want as a comedian right especially as a proper stand-up because it feels that's the that's the thing i've noticed too it feels as if joe doesn't need to make this move right he could stay in la and wait out until things reopen right he can sell his money and chill he gets his family's well established there as well they probably got their roots there they've been there for decades so he doesn't need to go so he's definitely going you know number one because he wants to do stand-up again wants to be able to perform right he doesn't necessarily he doesn't accept the fact that he won't be able to do stand-up in front of a crowd for another what six months be out of doing maybe let's say in total eight months he just can't afford to do that at his level right he needs to be on stage practicing every single night as much as he can or as much as it, you know the laws permit so he's number one going to texas for that but then also makes me think as well with the families like you'd have to even if you're a comedian and he did offer you a chance to go down there and live in his compound you'd have to make sure all the wives get on because I, I don't know how it is there in the states maybe it's different here but would just because your partner happens to be a, a comedian doesn't mean as a as again as a wife or as a partner doesn't mean you give a shit about the industry doesn't mean you care about his friends that just might be his job that you kind of see for your eyes isn't it you don't give a shit about being involved in his friends like you don't you know what i mean so it does really require a certain partner to be cool with having to move yourself and your family you know halfway across or you know down south somewhere in a state you've probably never been to just so your husband can be near his friends yeah it's not i don't know it doesn't seem like a proposition a lot of women will be down to or down for unless they get a little sweetener in it too i don't know but again um interesting to see how this develops over time is joe rogan i'm opening a comedy store is he going to invest in one is he just going there and opening and doing a compound doug stanhope style we don't know let me know your thoughts what do you think um he's going to do down there um in the comments down below